despise not the days of small beginnings. And what is the Lord, what is the Lord really trying to say? It's not that your ministry is small or that you're not Oprah or that I'm not rich and famous. It's how I'm thinking about where I am. Because when I yield to being where God has me and I stop resisting and fighting it, I'm happy. Because it's the joy of the Lord that is my strength. And so what happens is my thinking gets really distorted and skewed and twisted. And I begin to lean on the I begin to lean on the arm of the flesh and think that people's approval and people's love and, and people's views of my videos or the status of my videos or how many times my videos are featured, that all those external things those external things are going to keep me quenched and happy on the inside. And the Bible calls that a curse. That's a, a way of thinking that is cursed. Let's go to Jeremiah 17.5. Jeremiah 17.5 reads, Thus said the Lord, Curse be the man that trusteth in men, and maketh frail human flesh his arm, he sh and whose heart has departed from the Lord. For he shall be like a bush in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh. See, being happy, or not necessarily happy, let's not jump all the way to the extreme level. Let's just say, that we want to get a more balanced perspective on where we are and not despise it, right? Because the Bible says that it's when we humble ourselves like a child that we get to see God. So I mean, in a place of humbling myself before God and, and thinking with the help of the Holy Ghost, with the help of the Holy Spirit, more prosperous thoughts, or not necessarily prosperous, but just thoughts that I can think that will allow me to be happy, for instance, with being on the internet with my ministry, as opposed to being on network. Some of those thoughts um, are as follows. Oh my God, I love doing this. Oh my God, I love doing this. I love doing this so much. I am so happy that five people watch. Are you kidding? Do you know how long I wanted to do this? Oh my God, 50 people watch. And for me, in my life, in my world, from where I came from, that is huge. It may not be Oprah's views. It may not be any other producer's views. It may not be, you know, like I see some people, you know, they get 962 views a day and that's not what happens over here with me, you know. And at first, you know, I, I start comparing myself because I get into the immaturity thinking, you know. And I say, oh well. But then, like I said, when I think, when I think about the fact that God is allowing me to use the gift and the talents that he has given me and that every time I open up my mouth because this is my gifts and talents, people experience the presence and the power of God. That's right, that is an honor. 